This is how the Dangerous SD is designed. You have one remote control and a few different rack mount units depending on your options because it's a truly modular design. No matter what, you get this remote. And then you get the ST, which is the main section. That allows you to function in stereo with a full feature set. Then you can add an SR, which is an extra rack mount unit, and now you're in 5.1. You can also work in 7.1 or 10.2 or whatever. Just add units. You don't have to toss your base system. You can just augment it. That's the whole point of being modular. You can just augment your base system. So there's no redundancy and it doesn't get obsolete. You just extend it. There's also another system called the additional switching system. The additional switching system, you gotta love those initials, is actually comprised of two modules per rack space. In my studio, I have a DAC ST. I could have a DAC SR if I'm working in this around. They also have a module called UniSwitch. Uni as in universal switch. It's an RS-232 switcher that is customizable and will talk straight out of the box to GEF and KVM switches, for example. So you can have several computers, but one keyboard, one mouse, one screen, and you can switch between them straight from the dangerous remote, which is very nice for composers, for example. The fact that it's modular means that this remote control can control the whole rig. So I started with an SD and worked in stereo for a while, then I got a surround gig. I bought an SR, I dropped it into my rack, it was up and running right away. And then I wanted better quality DW conversion, I bought a DAC, dropped it in, connected it, and I was remote controlling the DAC straight from this remote right away. What attracted me first to the monitor ST is the fact that it's 100% analog. That's a big deal. Whenever I see a remote control in the monitoring system, I get very suspicious because it's never really good to have audio running through a long cable from the rack to the remote and back. Never a good idea. Passive, active, whatever. I never like the sound of it. Uh, in this particular case, this is just a computer controlling what's happening in the rack. So there is no audio coming through here. It's Ethernet. And this is basically the best of both worlds. It's a 100% analog monitoring section with a fully digital control system. The way they control the level, for example, is not through DCAs or VCAs or tricks like that. It's through an array of relays. You can hear them click when I turn the volume. That means that every time I change something from one click, a bunch of relays realign themselves. It's like having a switch, a real switch, remote controlled by a computer. Very neat. Another advantage of having this digitally controlled analog system, besides not compromising the sound quality, is that you can program everything. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to program the remote.